From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Monday, January 6th, 2014. In the news, state officials will host a delegation of Walmart executives in Juneau this week to further discuss seafood certification and how that company buys seafood. In 2011, the world's largest retailer decided to only buy seafood that was certified as sustainable by the Marine Stewardship Council, a London-based organization. AP reports a number of large Alaska processors have dropped MSC because of costs and burdensome paperwork. The Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute says it's taking steps to counter inflammatory stories on websites that claim Alaska caught salmon is unsafe. ASME Communications Director Tyson Fick says the Institute has seen a resurgence of unsubstantiated scaremongering articles designed to generate advertising revenue by curious readers clicking on websites. AP reports Fick saying that the latest wave claims Alaska fish have been contaminated by radiation from Fukushima nuclear power plant damaged in a 2011 earthquake. And financial institutions in Alaska are working to reissue debit cards and credit cards to thousands of customers across the state affected by that massive data breach that hit retailer Target. Three Target stores operate in Alaska, two in Anchorage and one in Wasilla. Reports estimate more than 2,200 debit and credit cards affected by the breach at Denali Alaskan Federal Credit Union, 2,000 at First National Bank Alaska and almost 1,100 at North Rim Bank. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, increasing clouds this morning. Chance of snow or light freezing rain in the late afternoon. Highs 20 to 25. Tonight, cloudy. Chance of snow and light freezing rain in the evening. Then a chance of snow overnight with low 0 to 10 above. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Highs 5 to 10 above. Extended outlook is mostly cloudy all week. Fairly mild temperatures with highs 5 to 10 above. Lows around 0. Air index is moderate in Fairbanks and North Pole. And the Aurora forecast is low. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.